Hey, party people, this is Jeremy from Trouble Live Plays Games. I'm at the Matago booth, and we are talking with Nikki about Dungeon Academy. And my Roller Right fans, you know how this works, man. I am so excited about new ones. I just found out about this before I came here, so please show us, get me hyped for this one right here. Okay. So Dungeon Academy, um, it plays, uh, you can actually do one or six players. So I'm a solo player, that's yeah, a big one for me as well. If you want to do well, a solo right. thing, you can. Right. Um, and what you are doing in this game is you get special characters, they're randomly selected. We already did that um, at, before we started. Yeah. Um, all of the characters have a special ability, yep. their okay. own special ability. Um, the one you're showing right now is if you kill a giant colossus, yeah. Yeah. While you're running through the dungeon, you will get an extra glory point for um, as many of the big red guys, Colossus, as you okay. attack. All right. <laughs> um, the game is played in four rounds, and um, it's a timed. Okay. So okay. you can do uh, 45 seconds as a moderate, and then there's a minute for easy and... 30 seconds if you want to play it really hard. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, that's not, probably never going to happen with me. <laughs> or okay. I'll just cheat because I'm playing solo. Okay, all <laughs> so. right. So, um, whoever is going to do this will throw all the die into this box top lid, kind of to mix them up. Yeah. Shake them up to get them flat. Yeah. Put the lid on. And then we would set a timer. Okay. And turn this over and one, two, three, go. Boom. Everybody draws Whoa. right out the gate. This yeah. is um, horrible, but we'll do we'll <laughs> yes, use that's it. Absolutely <laughs> scary what so you have right there. I am going to I draw an arrow with the direction I'm entering through one of the doors. And it's oriented the way you are looking, right? Exactly. So yeah. Like because exactly. guys, you're looking at this kind of upside down because we're this will be my like this would be my perspective, this would be my top right here, yeah. and this would be so, my bottom. And for her, it's the exact opposite. And for the people right. left and right and stuff like right. that. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So I would run through, let's say I go to Colossus, and I'm going <laughs> to to another big, huge, scary guy. Yeah. And then I'm going there, and then I'm going here, here. Probably not the best move, I'm yeah. not sure. We'll go through here, and then we will exit this way. Okay. I would grab the number one because I exited <laughs> first. Because you exited first, okay. And then we go up to six because the game takes six players. Right. Then we would evaluate. So the person to my left would evaluate whether I made it through this dungeon or not. Okay. You evaluate with this little and teacher I was, guy. And I'm assuming that's basically really do you have the hearts left when you go yes. through? Yes. Okay. What happens is actually um, if I make it through and I have nothing left, I'm still alive. Okay. But if I had to hit another monster and I had none of these right. tokens left, then that would be it. And oh. I did not pass my exams because this is a dungeon academy. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> did I just pan back over here? Oh, no. Let's see. <laughs> so to evaluate, we use this professor. Okay. And I have hit a big scary colossus. Right. They are two to fight. Oh, you didn't so, make it out of here. Oh, two health. Okay. So yeah, I knock oh, okay. two health off two my health guy. Off. One goes into the pool and one I use to mark that I went after a big scary okay. guy. And uh, another big scary guy. Two. One here, one back in the pool. Yeah. And we just run until, let's see, I did another scary big blue guy. Whoa. Then a little guy, he's only one. He's so only I just one. take it from but here one and blue. put it here. So, okay, so you have your reds and yes. your blues. And then, a, okay. Mana, yeah. mana and health. Okay. And then um, any potions is regaining. Oh, So okay. I will regain one mana for that first bottle, a second mana for the next bo uh, bottle that I drink, which will allow me to go after this big guy. Uh, and survive it Ooh. and he's a two again yes. so that and that okay I survived my dungeon exams all right cool. I am going to get five points for that because okay. I, I fought and survived five guys so I would mark that on my chart if I had any kind of a special ability like you have um, you could get the extra gold Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for having um, fought a Colossus. Down here? Yeah. 
Okay. But I don't have that special ability, so yeah. I'm not getting anything special like that. Then there are these one-time goals. So I would pick some combination of uh, big, big guy, little guy in red or in blue or both the little guys. Um, so they have like this little sheet down here. Yeah. Do you, when you collect these and get the right ones, you cut, you check them off, and you get the gold for yeah. them. Yeah. So my best, my best bet is to do the big, uh, the two, the blue and the red big guys, and I would mark down four points right here on my sheet okay. for having that, and five points for having that, and zero for that. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. This is simply to mark what you have left for the next uh, dungeon level. Okay. So I'm not going into my next dungeon level too strong. Okay. So I'm oh. hoping when I run through the dungeon hoping. next time, hoping. I will be hitting more potions and getting my health yeah. and my mana back up. I think all you have is hope, because <laughs> I don't know uh, if that's, it's going <laughs> to that's all there is. <laughs> that's all we have. Without it, we have nothing. <laughs> and at the end of the round, people that survived, you get treasure. Okay. You will lay out the number of players there are in the game. So if we had three players, there'd be three uh, treasures out. Person that exited the dungeon first gets first pick. Second will only get to choose between two, and okay. the last person will get whatever. What's this left one right over. here? Like, a, you get like a this kind of a free one. This interesting. This one is instead of entering through one of these doors here on the side, I can decide to enter right smack dab in the middle. Oh, of that's the board. oh. Yes. Ooh. There is a counterpart for exiting anywhere in the board. Instead Ooh. of exiting through a door, like you can just. I like I'm that. I'm done. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for giving us an overview of that game, Nikki. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All thank right. You. Once again, this is Dungeon Academy. It comes out at Gen Con because that post-it note says so. <laughs> Always believe the post-it <laughs> note. Always believe the post-it note. All right, party people. Thank you so much. This is Jeremy from Jumalaya Plays Games. Stay tuned for more coverage.